Just 60 years ago, in 1957, a group of nine African-American students enrolled in Little Rock Central High School, which at this time was an all-white school. The name of these students were Thelma Mothershield, Mae Jean Brown, Jefferson Thomas, Terrence Roberts, Carletta Walls, Gloria Clarmark, Ernest Green, Elizabeth Eckford, and Melba Bills. Governor Orville Faubus called the National Guard to stop the African-American students from entering the front door. Although said grade schools were declared unconstitutional after the Brown v. Board of Education ruling in 1954, Arkansas officials neglected to take notice of the ruling after the NAACP registered nine students to attend the high school for the fall of 1957. Under the escort of the U.S. Army's 101st Airborne Division, nine black students entered an all-white central high school in Little Rock, Arkansas. Three weeks earlier, Governor Orville Faubus had surrounded the school with the National Guard troops to prevent its federal court-ordered racial integration. After a tense standoff, President Dwight D. Eisenhower federalized the Arkansas National Guard and sent 1,000 Army paratroopers to Little Rock to enforce the court order. D- students received death threats and were spat on cursed at. Governor Faubus' power was stripped when President Eisenhower got involved and warned that the Supreme Court's decision would not be ignored. Governor Faubus continued to fight the school board's integration plan, and in September 1958, he ordered Little Rock's three high schools closed rather than permit integration. Many students lost a year of education over the, during the legal fight of desegregation as it continued. In 1959, a federal court struck down Faubus' school closing law, and in August 1959, Little Rock's white high schools opened a month early with black students in attendance. All grades in Little Rock public schools were finally integrated in 1972. Although the treatment of Little Rock 9 was a tragic event, it sparked a motivation in the civil rights movement which led to desegregation of schools.